Good afternoon. I'm going to show you a reversible reaction now. This one involves the heating of hydrated copper 2 sulfate on the board. That's CuSO4 dot 5H2O solid going to CuSO4 solid and H2O. The hydrated copper 2 sulfate is blue, chemical here, and when I heat it, it will thermally decompose, giving you steam and white anhydrous copper 2 sulfate, which I've done earlier. So I'm going to heat this. It takes quite a lot of heat to do this, it takes a while. So when you're doing this experiment, make sure you're not holding the end of the test tube holder. Your tube is pointing away from anybody who's near you, for safety sakes. Give it a little shake around. And you can probably see by now that at the bottom of the tube, the chemical has gone from blue to white. It takes a lot longer to get the top side to go because the heat's not quite getting there yet. So this experiment demonstrates the fact that a copper containing compound, CuSO4, dot 5H2O, when heated, will change colour, one of the indicators of a chemical reaction. Now you probably can't see it, so I'll go a little bit closer to the camera. There's condensation at the top of the tube, that's water. You can test for that by adding white and hydrous copper 2 sulfate and it will go back to blue, or the, bl the um, blue cobalt chloride paper, which goes pink in the presence of water. So it goes from blue to white on heating. I'm going to do the reverse reaction. Here's one I prepared earlier. Found the water bottle. So I've got white anhydrous copper 2 sulfate. And then if you look, I'll try and get a little bit nearer to the camera. White copper 2 sulfate, CuSO4. Add a little few drops of water and it goes from white to blue. So that's reversing, and if we heated it again, we could make it go back to white.